Hi, welcome to Buzz, Indiana's Underground Business Voice. My name is Tony Selzo. We're here at the Bob. I've got Ray Stapleton, longtime chair, longtime listener, first time caller, uh, with Expense Reduction Analysts. And you are a consultant that focuses on reducing overhead, saving money for mm -hmm. really enterprise companies. Is that that's, fair? That's correct. And 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 I think I know how you do that, but but that's always dangerous. Tell us what you really do. <laughs> okay. Tony, we work with businesses uh, five, ten million and above. Okay. And it could be any business. Okay. For example, it could be manufacturing, distribution, all the way to medical suppliers, uh, newspapers, law firms, professional firms. Okay. And the key to our business is that we look at any non core overhead expense. Okay. What we call non core. Um, non core means like what? The large, the managed controllables, the big stuff? Anything that would be uh, something that a business would purchase does, okay. doesn't add value to their customers. Okay. That could range from office supplies, telecommunications, packaging, temporary labor, okay. credit card Good. fees. Internet and, access, stuff like that. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. So my non core stuff, the stuff I don't realize that I'm spending money on every month, but I am, right? Correct. And what do you do with that? Well, most of the time, businesses, and I'll use my uh, past experience, I focused on my core uh, expenditures, mm -hmm. uh, the things that uh, I purchased in volume uh, that I turned into value for my customers. Sure. Spent a lot of time on people as well. Mm -hmm. The things I didn't spend a lot of time on were my non-core expenses. Okay. And so what we do is bring expertise uh, from the market, okay. uh, individuals who have worked their careers in those areas. We bring them to play for the uh, customer, for our clients, mm -hmm. to help them save money beyond what they ever thought they could. Okay, so Ray, give me a case study. You know, don't you mm -hmm. don't have to use any names of the companies, but what kind of impact can you really make for somebody? I mean, you know, if I'm a 10 million, you know, your latest success story, what does that look like? Sure. There's a a, a group of medical labs in Indianapolis. Okay. Uh, about 40 facilities. Okay. And they looked at uh, our uh, expertise to help them with their telecommunications. Okay. In this case, there was three parts. There was the land and data, okay. the landlines where they accept calls in the call center, their internet access, their cell phones, and then all their 40 facilities had telephone lines as well. Wow. Uh, we brought an expert in who's about 36 years experience, a executive level at Sprint, okay. and he did a full analysis on what they're spending. We took the spend to market, uh, engaged several suppliers in an RFP or a request for proposal, Came back with a recommendation about 30% savings on about $360,000 spend. So $100,000 worth of savings mm -hmm. because they engaged you and it didn't cost them anything. It didn't cost them anything. We now, shared savings. Now, why doesn't that cost? Well, yeah, because you, and one of the things that makes your company different, the way you get paid is you share in the savings. We share in the savings. We fund ourselves. So it really is, like, there's no loss there. I mean, I mean, the hardest thing for you to do is get your story in front of the right prospect. I say it's right. Another factor is that if we go through a process, we are not successful. We don't get paid. We feel very strongly about that because uh, if we say we can save you money and uh, we take your time to go through the process, then we feel that the only way we should get paid is if we save you money. So, Ray, I mean, I'm, I'm thinking here, one of the best, you are really any business consultant's best friend. <laughs> because you can go in there, if their client is large enough and justify their retainer, if they're, you know, I mean, if I'm a business development consultant that's helping somebody, uh, you know, create a marketing strategy, right? Mm -hmm. And I'm looking at getting nixed because everybody's cutting down the overhead. I can bring you in. You can save enough money to justify you and me. I mean, that's a no-brainer. That's correct. Tony, I'll give you a good example. It's even uh, more serious than that. We're working with a church. And part of what they told us they would do with the money is they are going to create uh, wells, water wells, in Africa for uh, people who don't have access to and water. And they said, look, we already have this in our overhead. We yeah. know we can survive with it. If you save yeah. us this money, we're going to go do some good. It's extra wells for missionaries in Africa. And he says, you know, thirty, forty thousand doesn't seem like a lot, but to those people in Africa, it's, it's quite a bit of money. Miles. Yeah. 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 So, Ray, uh, other business consultants that are targeting the enterprise mm -hmm. business, you've actually really realized that 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 networking with them at a higher level and really taking a position of leadership is a good way for you to expand your breadth and width uh, in the marketplace. And you're our chair for Bridges to Enterprise, right? Just give right. that a quick plug. You, what, what is Bridges to Enterprise? Bridges to Enterprise is a focused event. Uh -huh. It's geared towards any professional who markets, sells, or provides services to large organizations. Mm -hmm. And I think it's important uh, that professionals network in that manner because oftentimes, uh, very frankly, I can't help companies out. Mm -hmm. But there may be some areas where they need help, 
and it's nice that I can bring in an individual or a, a professional that I know that can assist them. Ray, I, I think one of the most powerful things I've read this year is out of Seth Godin's book called Lynchpin. And in one of his phrases he, he repeats over and over is be indispensable. And one of the easiest ways that you can be indispensable, an indispensable resource, which is I know that you are, and one of the reasons I think your business is growing is because if you're an indispensable resource to your clients, I mean, they come to you for everything they need, and you have a guy mm -hmm. to deliver and fulfill that need, they won't let you go for price. They won't let you get bought out of the deal. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and, and it, you can throw as many golf and dinners at them as you want, but if you're indispensable, they can't get rid of you. And, I, and I, that's one thing I'd like to just say, that you're indispensable to our organization, and we certainly appreciate having Thanks, you. Thanks, Tony. Appreciate it. Thank you, that. Ray.